we want to find the general solution to the third order constant coefficient linear homogeneous differential equation. And we'll find the general solution using what we already know about second order equations. Analyzing the differential equation, the corresponding characteristic equation is r cubed minus r squared plus r minus one equals zero. And now we determine the roots or solutions to the characteristic equation. We can do this by factoring because there are four terms on the left. We will use the technique of grouping where we divide the four terms in half and then we factor out the greatest common factor from the left and the right and we should have a common binomial factor. Factoring r cubed minus r squared, we factor out r squared, giving us r squared times the quantity r minus one. On the right, we only have r minus one, and therefore we factor out positive one, giving us plus one times the quantity r minus one equals zero. And now we factor out the common binomial factor of r minus one, which gives us the quantity r minus one times the quantity r squared plus one equals zero, this indicates that r minus one equals zero, or r squared plus one equals zero. Solving r minus one equals zero for r, we have r equals one. And solving r squared plus one equals zero for r, we subtract one on both sides, which gives us r squared equals negative one. And then we take the square root of both sides of the equation, include a plus or minus on the right. The square root of negative one is equal to i, giving us r equals plus or minus i. We have one real solution and two imaginary or complex solutions, where if the complex solutions are in the form of alpha plus or minus beta i, notice alpha is equal to zero and beta is equal to one. And now looking at our notes for second order equations, we'll use number one and number three to form the general solution. The general solution is y of x equals Using the real root of r equals one, we have c sub one times e to the power of one x, and then plus using the two complex solutions where alpha is equal to zero and beta is equal to one, look at the notes for number three, when we have a second order equation, the general solution is in this form here where y of x equals c sub one times e to the alpha x cosine beta x, plus c sub two times e to the alpha x sine beta x, which means in our case, because we have a third order differential equation, we have c sub two times e to the power of zero x cosine one x plus c sub three e to the zero x sine one x. Simplifying the general solution is y of x equals c sub one e to the x plus e to the zero is equal to one, giving us c sub two cosine x plus c sub three sine x. This is the general solution. I hope you found this helpful.